Uh, my name is A.H. Uh, Brown and I'm a professor in the Department of Animal Science. And my uh, training is in uh, breeding and genetics and statistics. And uh, I teach the classes related to breeding and genetics and try to help the graduate students with the statistical analyses and those kind of things in the department. This is my only job that I've had over my career. Graduated with a PhD uh, in breeding and genetics from the University of Tennessee at Knoxville, and this was uh, the job that I was offered after I completed my degree, and I've been here ever since. I grew up on a diversified farm in Tennessee, where the principal commodities were beef cattle and tobacco and corn and small grain. Well, I just. Uh, had a grandfather that was in the Hereford business, and I guess I'd have to say he had a fairly significant impact on my development. And as a result of that, when I got ready to go to college, I chose to study animal science. Well, my research over the years has dealt with the match of the genetic potential of beef cattle to production resources, and that would include from the time that the material is a gleam in the bull's eye till the processing of the cattle, okay, or perhaps maybe the consumption by the consumer. We've we've done a had a career of looking at a lot of different production points in beef production over the years. The environmental concerns is always going to be there apparently for us, okay, and as as the population grows and we get more and more population centers, they're going to put more and more pressure on animal agriculture, especially in regard to to animal waste and some of those kind of things. And I think we need a real effort along that line. And societal values have changed a lot because uh, when I started this business, nobody shown, has showed any interest whatsoever in animal behavior or in animal welfare or in animal rights. And nowadays, uh, the society has changed such that there's a tremendous amount of interest and you might say pressure in regard to the humane treatment of animals. Well, I guess I'd have to say I'm pretty much uh, proud of all the things that we've accomplished, but one of the things that, that we've accomplished, I believe, that's, that's important for the state, the, the stakeholders in Arkansas, is the fact that, that uh, most of the uh, grazing area in the state is... Uh, endified infected fescue and we've done a great deal of work in that regard and we have developed a couple of markers that uh, gives the producer some indication of those cattle that are tolerant or res uh, resistant or susceptible to the toxin and fescue and we've also done some work that identified the Brahmin Angus cow as a crossbred type that seems to be more tolerant of the um, of the adverse effects of cattle grazing into fat infected fescue. So if they cannot uh, go into this business of some markers to determine which which uh, selection in terms of heifers for the future, uh, then they can always go and and select Brahmin and Angus cattle and put them in a crossbreeding program, which has shown. Uh, uh, we have uh, heterosis expressed for those traits that are adversely affected by grazing in fat infected fescue. Well, there was a guy who retired from this place here who, who's responsible for me being here named C.J. Brown. He, I, I would consider him a mentor for me, uh, even though I came out of Tennessee with a relatively good uh, exposure to statistics and animal breeding. After I got here, I learned a great deal from C.J. Brown, who was on the faculty here. He was uh, uh, the cornerstone of this program for a number of years, okay? Take all the math and chemistry you can in high school. We, we need these students coming out of high school to have an excellent background in science.